most faculty should be aware of how expensive textbooks are and know it. And the, for that reason alone, they should be thinking about are there ways that I can use the burden of cost and the accessibility of it. I've had students who um, maybe they didn't want to admit it at first, but ended up delaying purchasing a textbook and um, or decided not to purchase the textbook for the class. I'm sure in a, in a number of my classes I've had students who have not bought textbooks, who have not bought primary source readings, and who have suffered from it. I've had classes where they've probably shared books and they've found strategies to, to get around it. I usually end up putting homework online instead of just referencing problem numbers. I've ended up taking pictures of the section numbers so I can make sure students don't have mismatches of sections if they've gotten a previous edition, which is the most common thing to do. I, I think students have a number of strategies that they engage in to try to find a way to defray costs and to avoid costs. And they also have, I think, questions about how important a book is to a given class. They're always sort of wondering. They don't want to uh, spend a, an extensive amount of money if it turns out that the book isn't really relevant to um, the, the class. In the past, we've had a lot of complaints of not using the textbook as much as the students wanted us to or felt like we should have. And that was definitely something that we didn't see this time around, was we didn't see as many complaints from students about having to purchase a textbook. And when the research librarians put on a workshop on open textbooks that I attended, um, I saw very quickly that there was a few different options for American government textbooks. Um, and this one, just as I looked at it when I reviewed it, uh, became clear that it had almost all the elements of a, an American government textbook that I would want. Mostly I've noticed that they do the reading a lot more. It's a lot more available to them. And it's easy for me to integrate it with other educational resources I use. And that has improved their interactions with the textbook as well. When you're switching a textbook, it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of effort. And I think if faculty have the incentive there and the support there to switch from a textbook that they've used in the past to one that's open, I think that that would be really helpful and would encourage a lot more faculty to adopt open textbooks. But I do think that uh, workshops and information programs like things that the library has put on are the types of ways that you can start getting people to think more about these textbooks, um, which is exactly how I found the American Government to eBook. If you could just get faculty members in their discipline to look at the textbooks that are offered, I think that could be pretty important. Why not go open source now? Um, and not have to redesign a course later.